In contrast to the people involved in the Tower of Babel who wanted to make a name for themselves, God told Abram that God himself would make Abram's name great. See, God wasn't against people having a great name. God was against them making that name for themselves. God wants us to have a great name in conjunction with a life of faith not rebellion. And Abram's name did indeed become great. God would change his name to Abraham, which means the father of nations. We know Abraham as a man of faith. He had an amazing relationship with God. Abraham certainly wasn't perfect, but we can't doubt that God fulfilled his promise to Abraham. Abraham became the father of many nations. And we see people all over the world who are descendants of Abraham. But the ultimate fulfillment of Abraham being the father of many nations, I think, isn't merely the descendants that came from him, but instead the multitudes of people who would profess Jesus Christ as their savior. See, we become descendants of Abraham. We're blessed with peace with God and salvation forever because God wanted to make for himself a people called by his own name and for his own glory.